This video is brought to you by the good people over at PatriotPost.us. They are an excellent source of news and information, and a link for them will be in the description box. So when you head over there and subscribe, tell them that ABL sent you. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk more about the quote unquote whistleblower complaint because today on Capitol Hill in front of the House Intelligence Committee, there was a hearing about the whistleblower complaint. The main event here should have been the acting DNI, Joseph McGuire. And if you don't know what the DNI is, that's the director of national intelligence. He has firsthand knowledge of the situation. That's why he was there. He was grilled by the leftist media and he did not appreciate that too much. He expressed that that should have been the main event. However, it was not really the main event because you had Adam Schiff, the Democrat from L.A., the House rep, who gave his two cents. Now, before I even get into what he said, let's go ahead and roll the clip. In this clip, you'll see what he said in context after we get done with that. I'll talk about what he said, give you my analysis, give you my two cents, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Zelensky begins by ingratiating himself, and he tries to enlist the support of the president. He expresses his interest in meeting with the president and says his country wants to acquire more weapons from us to defend itself. And what is the president's response? Well, it reads like a classic organized crime shakedown. Shorn of its rambling character and in not so many words, this is the essence of what the president communicates. We've been very good to your country, very good. No other country has done as much as we have. But you know what? I don't see much reciprocity here. I hear what you want. I have a favor I want from you, though. And I'm going to say this only seven times, so you better listen good. I want you to make up dirt on my political opponent, understand lots of it. On this and on that, I'm going to put you in touch with people, not just any people. I'm going to put you in touch with Attorney General of the United States, my Attorney General, Bill Barr. He's got the whole weight of the American law enforcement behind him. And I'm going to put you in touch with Rudy. You're going to love him, trust me. You know what I'm asking, and so I'm only going to say this a few more times, in a few more ways. And by the way, don't call me again. I'll call you when you've done what I asked. This is, in sum and character, what the president was trying to communicate with the president of Ukraine. It would be funny if it wasn't such a graphic betrayal of the president's oath of office. But as it does represent a real betrayal, there's nothing the president says here that is in America's interest, after all. It is instead the most consequential form of tragedy, for it forces us to confront the remedy the founders provided for such a flagrant abuse of office, impeachment. Okay, so you saw that, you heard that. Now, there is a lot to quote unquote unpack here, as the cool kids would say. I'm going to start from the very beginning and address what I believe is the elephant in the room. Adam Schiff is a stone cold stomp down liar. I don't want to beat around the bush and say, oh, he's being deceptive. He's being deceitful. No, no, no. I don't want to say that he is a liar. That what he just did was a lie. At a certain point in time, we recognize that the media do things that mislead you. Okay. They'll say things in a certain kind of way. They'll have a little scary music in the background or uplifting music or their tone of voice is not really fitting for the subject matter. Like they'll bring out a 10 year old transgender boy dressed in drag and then they have like a really upbeat voice. Obviously that is not the appropriate tone to have for that. You should be expressing concern, regret, some kind of fear or something. It shouldn't be happy, you understand? That right there is deception, and it could be a lie, really. That's how the media does. They'll present things in a way to make you believe a thing that's not true, although they may not come out and expressly tell you a lie. What Adam Schiff did was what the media does, which is they make you believe a thing that's not true based upon how they present it. 
but he also lied by telling you false information. If you did not know that that probably was fake what he did, if you have not read the actual transcript, you may think that he was really reading the transcript verbatim off the sheet of paper as it came from the White House. That is not true. He made that up. That was his interpretation of what Trump said. It was not what Trump said. He's adding words and skipping sentences and removing context. What he did on stage was disgraceful. It was a total lie. It's not, it's not anything new for Adam Schiff. He's been a thorn in Donald Trump's side throughout his entire presidency. And <laughs> he's just been a, a bad person overall. You know, he's not a person that would be against lying. All right. As we have seen right there on videotape. Okay. And then beyond that, what he did here was very harmful because the average person, like I said, is not even going to know that that was fake. What Trump actually said was in context, we do a lot for you guys and other European countries don't do a lot. Meaning we're trying to get some equal help from European countries that should be helping you. It shouldn't just be the United States giving you all the money with no help from your neighbors that live right there. Okay. They have money toting on the pony up. That's what it was about. Then later on in the conversation, he's talking about the corruption that's happening in Ukraine, not just Hunter and Joe, but other things that are going on in Ukraine. The current president Zelensky was brought in after the prior president to address corruption. Corruption was a big part of his campaign. And Donald Trump knows that. So he's like, okay, you're a big anti-corruption guy. Well, here's some corruption that didn't really get resolved. Take a look into that. Joe Biden came to Ukraine, got your prosecutor fired. That was looking into a corrupt Ukrainian company. And that company was employing his son to the tune of $50,000 US per month to do basically nothing because Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's son, is a well-known drug addict, a drunk, who has no experience in oil and gas, which is what he was getting paid to be on the board of, the biggest natural gas company in Ukraine. That's obvious corruption right there. Adam Schiff and the left, they want to say, oh, well, he's trying to, you know, strong arm and intimidate, all this, that, and the third, to make the Ukrainian president do the investigation because Joe Biden is his political opponent. And the carrot that Donald Trump was allegedly dangling in front of the Ukrainian president was allegedly $250 million in military aid. Okay. But nowhere in the real transcript that I read with my own two eyes says anything about aid at all. Schiff and others are saying that, oh, that's what he meant. That's basically what he was saying. That's what he was trying to get to. No, no, no. You got to prove that. The Ukrainian president said that he was not pressured into doing anything. Trump said he did not pressure the Ukrainian president into doing anything. Nowhere in there says anything about aid as far as the actual transcript of the phone call between Trump and the Ukrainian president. So where are you getting that from? That's just your own personal opinion at the end of the day. Okay. It's just that simple. Some people will look at that tape I play and think that's the real thing because they have not read the actual transcript. What Adam Schiff did was lie. Now he came out later and said, oh, it was a parody. Parody? Sir, if what Trump is doing is so bad that it should result in an impeachment and eventual removal from office, why can't you just read the transcript verbatim? I mean, why not? It's, it's got to be just so bad and rock solid and can't be. Just read the transcript. If you cannot read the transcript as it is and convince the American people that that's enough for impeachment, then you don't have a really strong case. You got to make up stuff to convince Americans that you should impeach the president and remove them. Shameful stuff. But the media, they don't really care. They're pretty much in on it they would like to read it the exact same way that he did. They would like to play that clip over and over again. They won't play the part where you say, oh, it was kind of a parody. It was kind of a summary. This is basically what he meant, this, that, and the third. They don't want to play that part. They'll play the part where he appears to be reading. And that's something that I got to speak on right quick before we close on out. He was reading the pages as if he were Donald Trump himself. You know how Trump has a particular speech pattern. He was reading whatever he had on his desk 
like that, like Trump would read it. So that adds to the realism of it being a thing that Trump actually said, when in reality, it was not. So as I close, I want to say this. Democrats, if you have such a rock solid case against the president, why make up stuff? <laughs> why make up stuff? Why not just read the transcript for exactly what it says on a sheet of paper? Don't add things. Don't subtract things. Just read the transcript. I read a transcript in full without it being redacted I straight from the White House, not from any news source at all, not from CNN, Fox, nothing straight from the source. I read it. Nothing in there was about quid pro quo. There was nothing in there about any kind of military aid or money or anything like that coming from the U.S. specifically. Like, OK, we're giving you military aid. And if you don't investigate Joe Biden and I got to add one more thing before we close out for real. He does not need any help in defeating Joe Biden. Have you seen Joe Biden recently? He is defeating himself every single day. He started off really, really high in the polls. And every time you've seen him out there on the campaign trail, he's looking more and more decrepit by the day. He is declining. He's beating himself. Why would Trump need to have any kind of external people go and help him defeat Joe Biden? It doesn't make any sense at all. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think it was appropriate for Adam Schiff to make up stuff as far as what the transcript said? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or do you think it was not OK for him to just make up stuff to lie to the American people? And the bad part is that a lot of people probably saw that or may see it in the future due to the mainstream media blowing it up. And they're going to think that's what the transcript said without reading it for themselves. It's really a shame. Hopefully there's something done about this. You can't just put something out there like that. I mean, at what point do we get into libel and slander? You're talking about impeaching somebody, possible criminal actions, penitentiary time. There's nothing to play with. This is not a game at all. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.